Hi everyone, I'm Justisa and welcome to Dark History of Sweden. We're gonna talk about execution locations of Malmö. Today we're gonna talk about Kiosberget. But today I will tell you about the largest witch hunt in Sweden. The Great Uproar. Today we will be talking about the infamous Lödrups killer Lars Nilsson. Today we will be talking about a few different Swedish serial killers. Today we will talk about Swedish mass murderers. Today we are going to talk about the man known as the Lemonade Killer. And today is finally the day we will talk about St. Lars Asylum. But let's get started on talking about some patients at St. Lars Asylum. Today we will talk about Satos Mental Asylum. Today we're going to talk about a few patients that stayed at Sato Mental Asylum. Today we will be talking about Satomana. So I want to talk a bit about a uh, Nordic folklore, Blokula. While I was researching for another video, I stumbled across Katarina's Mental Asylum and a few case books of a few patients. Today we will talk about Bekombaya Mental Asylum. Last time we talked about Bekombaya Asylum, but this time we are going to talk about some patients that lived there. Today we will move on a bit from mental asylums and talk a little bit about an old medieval castle. I went to Glimmingehus a while ago and I want to share what I learned. Today we are going to talk about an institution. But this one comes with a horrific experiment that shook Sweden to its core. But first we will dig into Vipaholm Institution. Because today we will talk about the horrific experiments that took place there. The first cult we will talk about is the Philadelphia Congregation in Knutby. Today we will continue on on the theme of cults and talk about the Corpella movement, which was filled with sex, drugs and alcohol. Today we will talk about a very interesting case with lots of drama surrounding it. Today we will talk about a medieval castle called Torpa Stenhus. Today we are going to talk about one of the most haunted places in Sweden. Boyvatnet Parsonage. But today I will talk about three haunted castles in Skåne. 33 videos, 7 playlists and 11 hair colors. A little over a year ago I started Dark History of Sweden and it has been quite the journey. And I am so happy and grateful for all of you who have followed along and watched my videos. My goal for this year was to reach 500 subscribers and we did. I think I'm even at like 643 or something like that. And I am so thankful and grateful for all of you who have subscribed. And my goal for next year is a thousand subscribers and I really hope we can get there. And I have so many things that I wanna do and research together with you all. I love when you guys comment. I read all of them and I do my best at answering you as well as I can. Cause you guys teach me so much and just makes me want to learn even more. And I really hope that I can inspire you guys to keep learning and broaden your minds. Cause I certainly have this year and I am so excited for next year for everything we're going to learn and achieve. So I really hope you guys follow me on this journey that is 2024. With that said, I will probably take a bit of a break at the beginning of January to get a bit of a head start on some videos because I am starting university again. Not only has this year ignited a desire to learn more and a curiosity for true crime but it made me realize that I want to know more so I decided to apply for a criminology course and I start this spring I have also decided that I want to take YouTube a bit more seriously because uh, I do see a future of doing this I am NOT going to make any big promises or anything because I still have my health issues 
but I do want to try to become a bit more consistent with my uploads. I just, I, I can't believe that I've been doing this dark history thing for like a year. You know how many essays I've written for these videos? It's insane. <laughs> and I've learned so much and I still have many other things that I want to research and share with you guys. Uh, and I, I, I just, I want to thank you guys so, so much for your support and for watching and for commenting and finding new things for me to research. Like a lot of videos I have like found thanks to you guys. So this, this, it's insane. I've been doing this for a year and looking back on while I edited uh, the, the first part of this video and seeing the change in my background and in me and like the style and everything it's insane i've come so far in a year and when you i, I was talking to a friend when i w when you look like at when you are in the moment you don't see the change but when you put it like this next to each other you see such a difference in a lot of things and it also reminisce on all the things that happened during like all those videos because it's 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 been a year it has not been easy i have been sick a lot i've had so much problem with my migraines and my headaches but i think i found a way to get better so yeah i'm so excited i'm sorry i just i almost cried editing this video because it's insane and I am so proud of myself and of everyone who has helped me and supported me and I'm so grateful that I am able to do this it's I don't know it's insane and oh my god <laughs> I, I I'm genuinely really happy and I haven't been in a long time <sighs> oh my god <laughs> sorry that was all I had on 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. And I wish you all an amazing 2024 and a big, big thank you for this year. Take care of each other and yourself. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.